everybody. What's going on? You doing good out there? I hope so. Well guys, Shaolin Showdown is on the horizon. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my bad. I meant Super Showdown. But yeah, Super Showdown is on the horizon and I figured I'd come on here and ramble about some of the matches and give my predictions and give some of the things I'd like to see happen, okay? So let's get into it, shall we? Alright, first up, the Cruiserweight title is on the line as Cedric Alexander defends against Buddy Murphy. Now, most of the time, because I'm biased with Cedric Alexander being a former ABW champion, I, I kind of I, I kinda can't do that this time. It's happening in Melbourne, Australia, which is supposedly Buddy Murphy's hometown. And if Buddy Murphy actually loses this match, I'll be pretty surprised. So, I want Cedric Alexander to win this, but I see Buddy Murphy winning it. Alright, moving on. The SmackDown Tag Team titles are on the line as the New Day defends against The Bar. I, I, I see The New Day retaining that one. Okay, Ronda Rousey and the Bella Twins take on the Riot Squad. I see Ronda Rousey and the Bella Twins losing this match. Because I heard this little rumor going around that um one of the main events for Evolution coming up is going to be Ronda Rousey versus Nikki Bella. And I, I kind of hope that's not true. But I can see the Riot Squad possibly pinning one of the Bellas, making Ronda and the Bellas lose that match. And when they do, there's going to be some arguments going around about, oh, it's your fault, no, it's your fault. I, I can see that being the perfect setup for that match at Evolution. Alright, next up, Becky Lynch defends her SmackDown Women's Championship against Charlotte Flair. I, I gotta give this one to Becky. Becky just got that belt. I, I was very happy when she won the belt at Hell in the Cell. Becky, you beat her, girl. You beat her. Alright, next up, Bobby Lashley and John Cena take on Kevin Owens and Elias. I, I pretty, I'm pretty sure Leo Rush is going to be out there somewhere, but I, I, I envision Lashley and John Cena picking up the victory on this one. Kevin Owens and Elias, they've just been like, they're just still fresh as a team. I would like to see them more as a tag team going into the future, but let's just see where this goes. But right now, I think Cena and Lashley are the um, intelligent picks to go over in this match. Alright, next up, The Shield takes on the the War Dogs, or the Dogs of War, of Braun Strowman, Dolph Ziggler, and Drew McIntyre. I'm not sure if that name is legit or not, I just read it on GameStop. Oh, was it GameStop? I, I forgot what website it was. But, yeah, um, somehow or another I picture, uh, Braun, Ziggler, and Drew winning this and having Braun go over on Roman Reigns. Because I know they got that uh, Crown Jewel event coming up in November, and they're going to have that triple threat match going on. I think Braun needs to remind everybody just how much of a monster he can be. And I think by pinning Roman Reigns in this match and pinning the Shield will be the good way to remind people of that until we do get to Crown Jewel. So, yeah, let's have uh, Braun, Ziggler, and McIntyre win this one. Alright, moving on. Alright, next up is a number one contenders match. Winner faces the WWE Champion. Okay, uh, Daniel Bryan takes on The Miz. Now, as much as I would like to see Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles, I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. Wrestling 101 is heel versus baby. And Miz, he's definitely a heel right now. And I, I, I envision The Miz winning this match. Now, I hope that he doesn't go on to actually end this championship Raven com coming up, but I'll get to that in a minute. Our right, next up is AJ Styles defending his WWE Championship against the Mojo in the notice qualification match. First of all, did any of you watch SmackDown this past Tuesday? AJ Styles says something in this promo that was really interesting. You're not coming back from the land down under. Because that's exactly where I'm going to put you. And I'm not talking about taking your lip body, putting it into a casket, and shoveling dirt on it. I'm talking about burying you alive. With that being said, 
I have a feeling that this match should be a very live match. Now, I'll, personally, I would like to see a very live match with somebody other than Undertaker in it. Just like I would like to see a casket match with somebody other than Undertaker or Kane in it. You know? So, and I kept on saying this over and over and over again. I'm ready to see AJ Styles hold on to that championship for as long as possible and possibly beat Brock Lesnar's title reign. Now, if The Miz does become number one contender, I can, I hope it's not true, but I see Miz just continuing his heelish ways by ending that championship run. Alright, next up, it is for the last time ever, The Undertaker with Kane in his corner versus Triple H with Shawn Michaels in his corner. Now, th this is a no-brainer for me. Everybody knows that I am a big Undertaker fan, so I don't care who you put him in, in there with. I don't care if you put Undertaker in there with Stone Cold. I don't care if you put Undertaker in there with Ultimate Warrior. I don't care if you put him in there with John Cena. I don't care if you put him in there with anybody. If you put Undertaker in a match, I will always be wanting him to be the winner. Always. So, yeah, Undertaker, you you play the game and you beat that game tonight. Mm-hmm. Alright, so, yeah, I guess that's all the matches. Well, I wouldn't say all the matches. It's, it's, it's going to be a five-hour show tonight. There's probably some more matches happening tonight that I have no idea going on. Why am I saying tonight for? I mean, it, I'm uploading this Friday, and it, it's just coming on at a weird time, 5 a.m. Eastern. So that's why I decided to upload it today. But yeah, um, enjoy the show. Enjoy the show coming up soon. I know I sure will. Um, until next time, guys, make sure you be outrageously optimistic year-round. Booyah. I'm out.